Just wanted to make a little video. This is my second trailer valet. I think it's a really great product and a company that stand behind their product actually. Um, the reason this is my second one is because the first one broke and I kind of wanted to talk about a couple things that I think is not necessarily or are not necessarily outlined in the owner's manual that you need to know. Um, the first one is this. You can see you're, there's two ways you can mount this. You can mount it with this pivot point the low or you can have this flipped over and you can have it high because this thing rotates 100 I'm sorry 360 degrees um, if at all possible I would recommend mounting it low because then that actually decreases the stresses that are put on the portion that extends down below the telescoping arm as you can see there's a, th a skinnier inner tube and that has to extend down and the further away it is from that pivot point the more uh, of a lever arm there is to actually uh, bend the tube so if you're going over any irregularities or you're going up and down any sort of slopes that can um, cause some major forces to be put across this pivot point and there's a brass fitting inside there that actually broke into several pieces <clears throat> after um, Four, four times going in and out of my garage because there's a little slope um, out back. The other thing I want to point out about this trailer valet is although it's really great for using on small slopes and um, on the flat surfaces, you got to know a couple things if you are going to use it on a, on a driveway that's sloped down. For example, if you look at my garage you see here that's the uh, driveway there behind my boat and you can see it's flat all the way out to here but as you get out outside of my driveway you'll see that it starts to slope off into the alleyway and as soon as these wheels come out beyond that line right there and it starts to sl sl uh, roll backwards all of the weights in the back of the boat and <clears throat> There's hardly any downward force that's going to be remaining on that front tire. So if you're trying to back the boat out of the garage slowly and in a controlled fashion, it starts to uh, it basically loses control because there's not enough um, grip of that front tire. So I had a couple uh, interesting situations that arose and I learned that lesson the hard way. That's definitely not a flaw of the trailer valet, but it's just something you need to know when you're planning how you're going to park your boat, especially if you have a garage like I do that has a slant outside of it. My solution was to install, um, I don't know if you can see it down there, but there's a little AC powered winch and it has a little handheld remote control it's got a long cord on it so I can basically be standing at the trailer valet holding the tiller with one hand and the, but using my thumb to power this button here to rewind while I'm cranking with the right hand and actually this is a, a one-man operation I can actually bring the boat up the, stri the driveway and into the garage um, I use a little length of chain here tow chain and I go around uh, this part of the of the trailer and uh, seems to do the job the last thing I want to point out about using the trailer about trailer valet is um, on uneven surfaces or on slanted surfaces like we've got here in my alleyway you can see um, well, across the way, that's almost practically just a curb that you're jumping up and down. But over here, you got about a two-inch drop. Uh, maybe not quite two inches, but a decent-sized drop um, in order to get the <coughs> trailer valet. Uh, well, in order to get it to hook up to my boat, I actually need to back the boat out till the rear wheels are just right here on the street. And then I'll pivot the front, and it has to walk off the end of that little lip. And you can see here I've put a bunch of cement. I didn't do this at first until the first one broke. 
but I highly recommend that if you're going to be using this to go up and down any sort of bumps, um, that you consider pouring um, some, a leveling layer of cement, just because if you don't, the trailer valley just can't handle the forces as it goes, especially coming off the um, the lip in the driveway there, it really um, deflects quite a bit. And it's not a surprise to me that that brass fitting broke. Um, I've, given, I've given them some feedback. They were very responsive. We suggested, or I suggested that they make that fitting out of steel um, and that they put some other remarks in their owner's, owner's manual that it's really not meant to be used to go up and down any bumps. My boat's an 18-foot aluma weld, and it's about 3,000 pounds, probably fully fueled on this trailer, maybe less than that. So it's not a big boat, um, but definitely when you're putting that kind of load on it by going up and down slopes, and there's quite a bit of actual contour on the driveway out back in the alley. Once again, this is a really good product. I don't think there's any other way I could get this boat to fit in here. The beam on this boat... Well, actually, the maximum width of the trailer is 7 foot 8 inches, and my garage door is 7 foot 10 inches. So I have 1 inch of clearance on each side of the trailer. There's no way I could get this in here using a truck to back it in. Um, so having the trailer valet and being able to fine uh, tune the uh, uh, placement of the trailer in the garage is really the only way I could keep this boat indoors. I mean, it is really a, as far into this garage as you can get. As you can see, I've got the swing tongue on there, and there's no extra room here. So really, I, I don't think there's any other product out there that could do what this does. And the company actually was really responsive when I told them uh, about the problems. They sent me a new one by Second Day Air and um, really stood by their product. So I hope that they succeed. I just wanted to kind of point out a couple things that you need to know. Uh, about what it was intended for and what it's not intended for. So good luck with yours. I hope you get one. I hope Trailer Valley uh, uh, is successful and, and uh, continues to make a fine product. The last thing I wanted to point out about this mechanism is that it's got two rods that are telescoping, as you can see here. And another reason why I believe you should mount this with the pivot point low like we've got it here. If you flip this box over, you could have it so that the pivot point's up here. But one of the reasons I think you should keep it low is that it really minimizes the amount of deflection you're going to see between these two, to two tubes. So in practicality, in my back alley, there's a uh, significant, well, it's probably a one degree slope, but it's enough that if I've got the trailer out here, you can kind of see, get a feel for how much slope there is. I got the trailer back um, into this area, and it's on that little bit of a slope, and I back up my truck and the hitch to it. I've got to raise that telescoping mechanism up, and then I've got to crank it back down. And I've had a situation where the tubes were so um, deflected against each other that the powder coat started to peel off. Um, I think you can do a couple things to avoid that, and like I said, the first thing I would do is mount this so that the pivot point is low. But the second thing you can do is that there's a little bit of give in this where the where the um, tube is aligned. So if it's if it's already flexing quite a bit, you can crank the handle to to improve the the um, alignment of the tube so that you can take some of the stress out of it before you start cranking up or down. I know sometimes that's not totally possible when you've got uh, your truck parked right there and you're trying to line it up perfectly, but where at all possible, maybe kind of adjusting forward and backwards a few times until you take the stress out and align these two tubes up with as little stress as possible before you start cranking it down onto that ball hitch. Um, you're probably going to uh, save the mechanism and have it last a lot longer. All right.